Yeah, New York Fire Department got off the bus, turned, saw a home, like homeless guy right here. <laughs> they used the sirens. Woo. Yeah, again, coercive persuasion programming. This is what they engage in. This is what they'll do. All right? See, they know that their ass is exposed, and I have helped in exposing them, and so they'll do things like this. All right. They will engage in such then as I walk by, he's like looking at my phone. <laughs> uh, oh. Let me tell you something. Even if I was homeless, I was still. Uh... <laughs> oh, you got the flashlight on, buddy, on your phone. <laughs> I guess I'll be seeing them. Right? Like, again, the police, like, you know, why they do stuff like that? Again. You got to understand how the sick-minded people work, right? How they engage in these sort of conditioning, these sort of programming. Right? And what it is that they do and how they get these Jewish people to engage in the targeting. Right? Because you got to understand what's going on. You got to understand that, you know, the liars... The manipulators, okay, the propagandists, right, the dark triads, the mindset of these people, and the extent that they'll go to to protect their lie, the extent that they'll go to to silence the truth speakers, right, particularly black men and black women who know the truth, black men and black women who know our history, right. This is why, like I said, they want us to be believers. Okay? <laughs> you hear what they say to these uh, Igbo tribes. Uh, when they ask the Igbo people, when they, did, they say, you are the original descendants of the Hebrews and the Israelites. Do you want to, to, to be Hebrews or do you want to be Jews? Right? So these black, nowadays black, Israelite claiming or Hebrew claiming people talking about they're the real Jews. You are not the real Jews. These people are the real Jews. These white Europeans are the real Jews. You are the real Hebrews, you are descendants of those people who call themselves Hebrews and Israelite. But also understand they were also Europeans who call themselves Hebrews and Israelites. Right? They were Arabs who called themselves Hebrews and Israelites too. Okay? <laughs> but these people these people come from the Caucasus Mountain. These people are the Kazite who adopted Judaism, or uh, converted, I should say, who converted to Judaism in the, what is it, 8th or 9th century? Okay? They have no, they are, they have no, um, no connection to the people of Palestine or Israel, what they call Israel. Israel was never a land, it was a people. There was no land called Israel. There was no land. There was no people called Jews or Jewish, right? That came about in the 18th century that the white Caucasian Europeans called themselves that. So, Negropeans love to associate themselves with Europeans without learning their history. I keep telling you guys, do the research, right? Do the research. We're in the age of information, all right? But. Ignorance is blitz. A lot of people would rather remain loving the lies as opposed to um, hear the siren. Don't you hear the siren? Because they'll, like I said, they'll always use these these fake, uh, 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 and I say fake, but these sambos and sambinas. So I want you to understand. So you're sitting there, and they, you know this is how they they operate, right? Again, I'm not, <laughs> you know. But anyway, you know how to use the Sambos and the Sambinas, the Coons and the Kunets? That's what they do. <laughs> yeah. The Sambos and Sambinas, man. It never run out of them. Look, look, he comes out pointing. <laughs> Anyhow, like I said, what's up, man? When they, when you, when you hear, as a black person, when I hear black people call themselves Jews, I gotta laugh. 
<laughs> I got I gotta laugh. Anyhow, and, and you guys hear the the, the car horn beeping? <laughs> oh, you guys look, look, dude, in my head. <laughs> But well, anyway, like I was saying, so they, they will sit waiting in their vehicle until I come. Uh, I usually sit out here and do my video, finish up my videos. Um, but again, they, they know that, right? But what they, again, what they are trying to do is engage in a level of suspicion, right? Understand what it is that they're doing. Understand what they're doing. All right? No, I understand what she just said, a whole skull, <laughs> right? Put two or two together, not afraid, not afraid, all right? Not afraid, just come and see me, chickens. Come and see me, all right? You're claiming you're gonna assassinate me and all this shit, whatever, do it. All right, that's what cowards do. All right, they assassinated Malcolm X, they assassinated Martin Luther King, they assassinated Dr. Khalid Muhammad, and many people don't understand how they did it. I'm telling you how they did it. They did it using radio wave or microwave frequency. All right, they, they gave um, Dr. Amos Wilson cancer. All right, again, radio wave or microwave frequency weapons. Go read on the result of the U.S. diplomats that was hit with uh, microwave radiation, right, in the American Embassy in Moscow, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, all right? So they can try to hide their <laughs> weapons, right, be all uh, top secret, don't want to talk about it, again, throwing their own diplomats under the bus, saying that there's no such thing. Because this is what this government does. Those operating inside the security agencies, the military, DOD, this is what they do. I keep saying it. This is why they target black people, specifically certain black people, right? This is why they don't let black people into certain areas, certain fields, right? This is, like I said, I posted that video of the, of the, the, um, the black soldier, right? He was, he's a doc, he was a doctor. Right, and he, he, he says, this is what they do to black doctors in the army, in the military, right? They destroy them, All right? Now think about this. You got a group of racist people, right? Very, very racist people who are engaging in warfare against particularly black people in particular because they know we are the original people, right? Who continue to steal our culture, our history, right? as if it's theirs. <laughs> I was laughing because they did a rendition of a, 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 what is it, a rendition of, um, that's, that's in the right, right word here, um, a, yeah, I guess I could call it a rendition of um, a, a, a Menotep, was it a Menotep? The third, right? This is a black African man Right, you can look at the sculpture, right? You could clearly see he's a black African man, and who and and what did they do? They made him into a, a fat white Caucasian man. <laughs> and I'm like, the the mental illness in these people. When you have sculptures that shows you what he looks like, right? You have the hieroglyph that shows you what he looks like, right? But yet they did a computer generated. That's what we say. A computer generated. Uh, uh, rendition of uh, Amenhotep III, okay? And that computer generation, the computer generated image is that of a, 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 an obese white man. And I'm like, I want you to understand the, the disrespect and the, lack, the, and, and the lack of intellectual honesty, the lack of uh, um, uh, arch, arch, archeological honesty right historical honesty scientific honesty this is why you see across the america these labs that these police use that they lie they falsify um results right so i want you guys to understand how this whole system is geared 
against black people and against targeted individual people. Okay? This is why, like I said, this is why they don't want black people to own these things, to have these things, right? Because we are, we, we, don't, we, are not, we don't have their, their mindset, okay? These people, they will lie, they will falsify shit, right? Hire certain groups of people who are non-white but have a, an affiliation for whiteness and manipulate them into falsifying documents and falsifying DNA records. Okay? But you don't want to listen. You don't want to listen. So, you know, it's going to keep happening. It could happen to our kids and their kids if you don't teach them the truth, if you don't make them wake up, if we don't uh, develop ways to protect them, right, from falling into the traps that they set for us. Like I said, we walk around here like, you know, we grew up driving a nice car. Hey, you know, so. so Hey, listen, when we were younger, we all did that, so I don't fault them, right? I don't fault young people because, again, the older people are not uh, educating them. But I try to talk to these young guys, or even, you know, they may not be that young, but I try to reason with them and make them understand that this is what's happening, right? But I understand the conditioning is so strong that, you know, what can you do as one person, you know? But, hey, as, as uh Dr. John Henry Clark says, if you, can, if you can bring one person to the truth, that's good enough, <laughs> right? If you can bring one person to the truth, that's good enough because, you know, it's a process because we know what's against us. We know those of us who know the history, who understand the history, who know the truth, we know that we are fighting against lies by a great force that is hell-bent on bringing us back into enslavement, okay? And they've developed the means and the ways to do it. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.